Hi classmates, for my Tama presentation, I will be advocating for environmentalism. The reason I chose this topic is because I love wildlife and I don't like seeing species disappear because of mankind. Therefore, I will go on social media to promote awareness. I know that you may be thinking there's already sites that do that, but from the little research that I did at least, I saw that there was posts that were posted several years ago and they were, the blog never updated again, it just died. So. I want to go on social media so that people can start talking about it or at least thinking about it because if you see something on your feed like an interesting fact like hey guess what giraffes are going extinct and a lot of people that i tell this to they're like you're kidding giraffes will always be in our lives like i don't see who would hunt a giraffe or why and i'm like well guess what they're disappearing too the panda was recently um moved out of the endangered species list and had been there for a long time while i was growing up it was still there and it, look how, how long it took for it to get out, to be saved. Um, there's another thing that I'm worried about uh, when I'm making my posts is that I don't want to for people to suffer from clicktivism. So this is a term that I found online recently where every movement, not only environmentalism, when you're making posts, people will be like, oh, wow, how interesting. Click, like, share retweet, whatever, and then they move on with their lives and they don't do anything. And it's really easy to feel like I did something that mattered. All I did was retweet to inform other people. But the truth is, you're not really doing anything. Like, yeah, you're spreading awareness, but like you're not truly helping the animals be saved by retweeting. Hopefully, it'll get to a message where someone realizes, hey, I'm supposed to get out of my computer chair and find out what's going on, volunteer at a zoo, do something to change these, this because this is not right. Um, so what I want to do online too is at least when now that I know I find people like that, I'll have them follow me and I'll follow them back. And I want to follow other organizations too that are already in the environmental sector so that we can get like updated information. We could be linked into important contacts that can make a difference. Um, but online isn't all that bad either because there's been games that have been made where you interact with it and it has a benefit in the real life. For So for example, the one I found for environmentalism is there's one called TrashTycoon.com, you guys can go, and it teaches you what and how to recycle. And if you spend in-game money, like they'll donate some of it to like a real charity. And it's called carbonfunds.org, so I guess it has to do with reducing your carbon footprint and educating other people. So that's really cool. And another way um, social media can help is that if you stream live um, fundraising, like my idea would be since Miami is very big on parties, it would be a paid party entry and we'd try to make it as fun as possible and we'd make, try to have as many people come as much as possible. Obviously the drinks will be expensive uh, and we'll try to provide entertainment. So all the money that you come in, or maybe you'll be on Facebook one night, like, oh, I don't know what to do, I'm staying in. And you're like, wow, look, there's a party. And you go, you just, you know, donate money by entering and it'll be collected to give to a charity. Oh, another solution too is, um, I remember the ice bucket challenge was like really huge and then it died and like no one ever did it again. So I'm trying to brainstorm ideas as to how to get people engaged in creating a challenge in terms of animals. It's like, hey, maybe you should go out and learn about this animal. I challenge you to volunteer at a zoo for a week and well, because a week is too long, a weekend, right? Or like two weekends to learn as much as you can and then decide, well, how can I do something different? And if someone sees on their stream that they're doing this challenge other people will be like hey that's really interesting i didn't know like this was such a serious issue and if it's someone popular doing it then other people will be inspired to do it as well and i also want to be careful about how i word things online because i don't want to be seen as extremist like PETA. <laughs> like oh we're killing all the animals like no like i want there to be like positive messages as well like, I know there's several news reports where they're like, oh, we've done irreversible damage and we're screwed and we can't heal the earth. It's like, oh, okay, but we still need to have hope and teach people that that doesn't mean it's okay to keep destroying the world and we need to 
do something about it. We need to take care of each other and the animals too. All right, thanks guys.